Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make an image into an animated image. Uh, it's incredibly simple to turn a still photo into an animated photo in Photoshop. Uh, I'm just going to start off by saying that there are a lot of ways that you can do this in a lot of different programs. Uh, I'm just showing you the way that I know how to do it in Photoshop. I think the great thing about uh, editing programs and Photoshop and, and everything that's available is that there are a lot of different ways to achieve the same result. And there's no right way or wrong way, there's just your way. And uh, I'm showing you my way on how I create this effect in Photoshop. So if you enjoy it, uh, feel free to create with it and uh, tag me in it so that I can see how uh, you've used this tutorial in your own work. Uh, so the first step is choosing an image that is actually going to work as an animation. And what you need to really focus on is having an element in your image that is going to be moving and that is standalone. And what I mean by standalone is that you want your image uh, that's going to be moving to not be attached to anything in the background. So you want to have an isolated layer. And what I mean by isolated layer is just like this balloon here, there's nothing attached to it. There's no background to it. There's no other elements attached to it. It is just a layer all by itself. You can download stock images that have isolated backgrounds. If you're using your own image, that might mean that you need to do some masking or erasing of the background. Uh, however you want to achieve that to get to your isolated image, uh, as long as you have one, you're good to go. So we have our isolated uh, balloon here, and that's going to be the element that's going to be moving. And what we want to do is we want to move that balloon up into the window. So before we start animation, uh, I like to kind of clear the clutter in my panel here. So what I've done is I've just grouped together all of the layers that won't be moving that we don't need to pay attention to right now. So that's all the background layers there and all of the adjustment layers there. I'm just grouping them together so that they're out of sight, out of mind. We don't need to do any other color toning. We don't need to do any other adjustments. This is kind of after you've done all of your editing, all of your color adjustments, and now you want to make some animations. So I've got my balloon layer here. That's the only layer that we're really going to be looking at. And now we're going to actually get into the animation effect. So what we're going to do is go up into Window, go down to Timeline, and we're going to click Timeline. And it might ask you if you want to create a video timeline or an animation timeline. You want to click Create Video Timeline. And when you do that, this panel will pop up. Make sure that your balloon layer or whichever layer is going to be animated is selected. And then on the very left here, click the little arrow, and it'll give you this little drop down panel. Make sure that your slider for your uh, timeline is all the way on the left, at the very start of our animation, and make sure that whatever it is that you want to be moving is in the starting point of your animation. So we want our balloon to be kind of close to the hand here. And then what we're going to do to start our animation process is click position. And what that's going to do is kind of guide our uh, video timeline or video animation into the actual path of animation. So we have our position from the beginning. All we're going to do is take our slider, slide it all the way to the other end, so where our animation is going to finish. And here's the simple part. We're just going to move our balloon where we want our animation to finish. That's where we want our balloon to end up, up in the air. That's all we have to do. If you want to test it to make sure that it's working, you can click the space bar and it'll very, very slowly <laughs> give you a preview. Uh, obviously, it's not rendered, so it does take a little bit of time to show you that video um, playback, but you can see that it's moving. It's going up there. The animation itself is five seconds. So you can see it goes zero to four. So that animation itself is five seconds. Uh, you can make it longer just by dragging these uh, panels to the right and it'll add more time. Uh, the longer your animation is, uh, the more time it's going to take for your uh, kind of animated object to reach the final destination or the end point. So if you want it to move quite fast, then maybe make sure that your animation is a little bit shorter. So what you want to do once you're done animating, what, when you finally kind of adjusted it to where you want it to be, uh, and you can also adjust kind of the rotation. So if you wanted um, at the end here, if you wanted it to be slightly to the right, adjust that as well, and it will allow you to move your 
balloon <laughs> very, very, very slowly. And when you're done, you go onto right here, there's these little lines. You can click render video, it'll come up with this panel. And I usually just leave it at the settings that Photoshop suggests. I'm usually just posting this on Instagram or Facebook, so it doesn't need to be super high quality. Um, and it's only five seconds, so it doesn't really need to, to be a huge file. And I just click render. And when you click render, it'll eventually save it as an MP4. And then it'll give you this little animation. So you can see our balloon is rising up into the sky, just like that. And you can play it again. You can loop it if you want it to be looped. And you can upload it to your social media. You can use it as an animated, animated GIF. You can uh, convert it if you need to into different formats. But that's the very simple, very easy way to animate. And I'm going to do it one more time on a different image to show you what it looks like. So I've got this image here. And what we want to do is we want to take this airplane and we want to have it leave from this hole in the book up into the sky. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to pick our little start point where we want it to begin. Go into Window, Timeline, Create Video Timeline. Click our arrow so that we have our options for our layer. Click on Position. That's where we want it to start. Drag it to the end. We want our plane to end up maybe here. And then we can double check to make sure that it's actually going to work. Perfect. We can go in, we can render our video. It'll take a few minutes for this to render. And as it's doing that, I'm just going to share with you again that this uh, tutorial shows you the way that I know how to create this effect. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the only way or the best way, but it's the way that I know how. Uh, you can, of course, use this effect on multiple layers. You can have tons of different objects moving at the same time in different directions. Uh, have some fun with it, play around with it, and I look forward to seeing how you create with this effect. And uh, please tag me in anything that you create using this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing what you make, and I look forward to creating more tutorials to help you guys achieve some of the things that you want to achieve in your own photography, uh, please have a follow on Instagram at, uh, at Joel Robertson. You can find me on Facebook at Joel Robertson Photography or on Twitter at, at Boy Wonder Joel. And I look forward to hearing from you.